Yes, welcome everyone to our virtual monthly meetup. Um, I'm Sarah Bolton, and I'm the virtual monthly meetup host. And we also have Allison Foss, who is our executive director at the MGPA. And this is hi everybody. Meeting. Yeah. Hello. Uh, this is our first virtual monthly meetup of the year in 2024 for the My Senior Gravis Association. If you are new here, we are so glad you're here. And we hope that you'll check out our website, www.mgikc.org for additional information and resources. We have a special webinar this Saturday, January 27th from 10 to 11.30 a.m. Central with Dr. Mamasa Paznor about vaccines and MG. And to register, you can head to our website and click the calendar link or email info at mgakc.org. For our February virtual monthly meetups, we will be having a session providing updates on clinical trials. So watch your email and <clears throat> register. For this evening's presentation, we are thrilled to welcome back Sarah Yukatil with Sarah U Coach to help guide us through a meditation and some chair yoga poses to help us start the new off, the new year off on the right foot. And welcome, Sarah, and I'll let you take it away. Okay, well, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Allison. I'm I'm thrilled to be here with all of you this evening <clears throat> and really want to give you um, some tools that you can use in your everyday life, um, you know, meditation, yoga, stretching, you know, those mindful movements are so important um, as we move um, through each and every day. Uh, but before, I guess I can tell you a little bit about myself before we jump in. Um, I live in Kansas City. I'm also a proud Iowa State Cyclone fan, Allison, and I have uh, been friends for many years and I've um, come uh, to your group to present um, uh, several different occasions um, over the years as well. I am a life um, and career coach. I'm also a certified yoga instructor and meditation coach. I've been coaching full-time for the last nine years uh, prior to becoming a coach. I spent the first 18 years of my career in corporate America. I used to be a finance manager and I decided to get off the corporate treadmill and start my own business in uh, January of 2015. So um, I'm in my ninth year. I absolutely love it. Uh, my coach clients uh, all across the country on uh, topics uh, such as uh, work-life balance, personal development, goal setting, um, career transition, leadership enhancement. I also do uh, in-person yoga retreats primarily around the Kansas City area under the umbrella of Namaste All Day. Uh, I also have a free monthly coaching newsletter. If you'd like to sign up for that, you can go to my website, which is sarahucoach.com. Um, also, all my retreats are listed out there as well. So well, that's just a little bit about me. And, um, you know, as we begin our time together Today, I just invite you all to come to a comfortable seated pose, um, you know, having your feet firmly um, grounded, so don't have your legs crossed, um, but have your, your feet really rooted into the ground, you know, feeling that grounding energy and, you know, sitting in that comfortable seat, imagine that someone has a string attached to your tailbone and they're pulling you all the way up through the crown of your head, up through your spine and exhale through the front of your body. I invite you to close down your eyes as we move through our first breath work exercise. Again, inhale from your tailbone, inhale all the way up through the crown of your head and exhale through the front of your body. And again, inhale from your tailbone. Inhale all the way up 
through the crown of your head and exhale. And again, inhale from your tailbone up through the crown of your head and exhale through the front of your body. So imagine you're creating this oval shape around your spinal column, knowing that your breath is your prana, your breath is your life source. And by giving yourself a few minutes each day to focus on your breath work helps to calm your mind, helps to regulate your nervous system. Let's continue with that oval shape of breath work. Noticing what sensations are happening in your body. Are you feeling your shoulders start to relax? The breath coming in and out of your body. like an ocean wave. What else can you release? What are you holding on to that's no longer serving your highest good? When we release what no longer serves us, we create more space in our physical body to invite more in of what you really want. Is there any emotional energy that needs to be lifted, that needs to be lightened. And again, continue to focus on that breath in and out. And calming your mind, soothing your nervous system. And by giving yourself, you know, five minutes of mindful breath work each day can help to create new, new neural pathways in your brain. We have over 80,000 thoughts every single day. And of those 80% of them are the, are the same thoughts we had the day before. And 80% of those are negative. So if you think of your brain like a farmer plowing a field and you continue to feed your mind with those negative messages, that's automatically where your mind is going to go, especially in times of stress, anxiety. But you have the power to choose your next best thought. We have the power to choose our thoughts the same way we choose our clothes every day. And by knowing that, 
know, that is a power that you have within you. Continue to inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. More deep inhale. And exhale. And when you're ready, slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes and gently blink open your eyes. So we're going to move through um, you know, a few of our chair yoga moves. And you know, the these um poses are great if you're you know seated at a desk, if you're um at home in a chair. Uh, but again, as you move through these, you know, really be mindful of your body, you know, honor where you're at with each of these poses. And as always, just continue to focus on your breath. So we're going to start with some gentle um, neck rolls. So we're going to gently tuck our chin to our chest. Shift our right ear to our right shoulder. Tilt your head back. And place your left ear near your left shoulder. And again, tuck chin, chin to your chest. Right ear to right shoulder. Tilt your head back. Left ear to left shoulder. And down. Now slowly start to go in a rotation to your right. Noticing if your neck catches anywhere. Really being mindful of that. Do one more rotation to the right. And back to center. Now we're going to check, tuck our chin into our chest again. Now left ear to left shoulder. Tilt your head back. Right ear to right shoulder. And down. And then again, left ear to left shoulder and back, right ear to right shoulder, and down, and slowly start to rotate to the left. And notice one side of your neck may be tighter than the other. And be mindful with each rotation. And one more to the left. And back to center. So bringing your hands to the prayer pose. You can place your hands at your heart center. We're going to inhale our arms up. Look up at your ceiling. Place your left hand on your left side. Gently place your right ear over your right. Your right hand over your left ear. Sorry. Giving yourself a nice... Stretch through the left side of your neck. Breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Now gently tilt your head. So you're looking into your right armpit or looking down off of your right leg again stretching out a little deeper stretch on the left side of your neck breathing in and breathing out 
inhale and exhale gently release your right hand and bring your head back into alignment with that tall straight spine now again bringing your hands to that heart center inhale look all the way up to the sky and place your left hand or your uh, right hand on your um right leg and place your left hand over your right ear again giving yourself that nice stretch through the right side of your neck breathing in and breathing out inhale and exhale inhale and exhale gently tilt your head so you're gazing off your left leg. Be a little deeper stretch into the right side of your neck. Breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale and exhale slowly and gently release your hand bringing it back to your side now we'll move into some shoulder rolls so bringing your ears up your shoulders up to your ears shift back down and around and again rotate bring your shoulders up to your ears back down and around and just going through some rotations on your own Bring your shoulders up, back and down, up, back and down, two more, up, back and down, and up, back and down. Now slowly release, coming from the back up and rotate forward, up and forward. Shrug up and forward. One more up and forward. Now let's imagine we're taking off that big Chiefs sweatshirt. I know I'm a huge Chiefs fan too. So, um, or whatever, whoever your favorite team is. So let's imagine, let's put our right hand on top of our left and Brent come up, back and over. Now put your left hand on top, left hand on top, come up, back and over. And again, right on top, up, back and over. And left, up, back and over. So that's another great pose. Another pose, if you're, again, keeping with the football team, you can even just have your hands like goal posts. You can have them out. Just even doing this stretch is a great stretch to open up your back. So you can like you can also bring your hands up in a Y. If that feels good. Wiggle through your fingers and come back. So another great pose to open up your back is to give yourself a hug. So you can place your right hand over your left, and again you can just. Give yourself that hug and just close down your eyes and just focus on your breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Slowly release. Shake it out. Now let's do our left hand. Give ourselves a hug on the left. So left hand on top. And again, close down your eyes. 
and breathe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. Slowly start to release, you can shake it out. So we're going to do another, um, uh, oh, we forgot to do seated cat cow. So again, having that tall straight spine, we're going to tuck our chin into our chest and gently start to round your back like a cat. And now you're gonna inhale and stretch your neck and look up to your ceiling. And again, round your back like a cat, tuck your chin into your chest. And again, roll your shoulders back and look up to the, your ceiling. And again, roll round your back, tuck your chin into your chest and roll back and look up and one more roll chin to chest and open your heart space and come back so we're going to do a couple of um side stretches. So again, bring your hands to your heart center. You can inhale your arms up. Place your right hand by your right thigh and tilt up and over. Stretch it out through the left side of your body. Feeling that stretch through your, your rib cage, through your armpit, chest area. And breathe. Inhale and exhale one more inhale and exhale now bring your right hand up to meet your left look up to the ceiling T take your left hand down by your left leg and shift up and over with your right stretching out through the right side of your body breathing in and breathing out. Inhale. And exhale. Again, bring both hands up, up to the ceiling. And again, gently start to fold forward. So if you can just intend your head to your knees, you can place your hands by your ankles if, or just mind, be mindful of where you are on your range of motion. And again, slowly start to roll up one vertebrae at a time. And you can roll your shoulders back. And we'll do that series a few more times again, bringing your arms to heart center. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling, right hand to the right thigh and shift up and over, stretching out through the left side of your body, breathing in and breathing out inhale and exhale you'll bring your right to meet your left stretch up to the ceiling placing your left hand by your left thigh and stretch up and over with your right really stretching out through your right rib cage breathing in and breathing out. Inhale. And exhale. Come back, stretch up. And again, gently fold forward, intending your chin to your knees or just um, looking down, having your, your hands Try and touch your your um your shins or your ankles or the ground and breathe in and out 
and slowly start to roll up, roll your shoulders back. How about we do one more of those? So bring your hands to heart center, inhale, look up, placing your right hand by your right thigh, shift up and over, maybe go a little bit further this time, breathing in and breathing out. Inhale and exhale, bring your right hand to meet your left, stretch up and place your right left hand by your left thigh and stretch up and over with your right, stretching out through that right rib barrel, breathing in and breathing out. Inhale and exhale slowly start to come up and again dive forward one more time and slowly start to roll up one vertebrae at a time and roll your shoulders back how's everybody doing good okay so we're gonna do a seated twist so you want to place your left hand over your left knee and you can have your right hand on the arm of your chair. Again, having that tall straight spine and slowly just start to twist through the mid section of your body and gently start to look up and over your right shoulder and breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So we come back to center and gently shift up and over to the other side. So again, have your right hand over your left um, knee, looking back, twisting through the center, looking back over your left arm and breathe. In and out. In and out. Again, let's come back to center. Again, inhale your arms up. Again, make those goal posts again. So this way, so you're gonna have your arms kind of like this, sorry. And we're just going to twist, again, rotating through that midsection of your body, twisting up and over, breathing in and breathing out. Inhale and exhale and again come back to center having those gold post arms and gently twist over to the other side again twisting through that midsection breathing in and breathing out inhale and exhale and again come back to center and gently roll your shoulders. Let's do one cleansing breath. Inhale your arms up. And just one big audible exhale. Just let it go. Let's do, well, let's do one more. Inhale up and audible out. Let it go. Okay, so we're gonna move into some wrist circles. So this is good if you do a lot of texting or typing. So again, bringing your hands to that prayer pose. And we're just going to gently start to bring the outsides of our hands together like this. And gently roll up, back and down. And again, rotate, bring the outsides of your hands together. Back and down. Just do a few more rotations like this. Stretching out.
And when you're ready, slowly start to go the opposite way. And come back to center. And another good wrist stretch, we're just gonna take um, our right our, our right fingers and use our left hand to kind of pull our, pull our wrist back like this. I'm not getting the best angle, but really stretching out through your wrist. Woo! Everybody feel that? And come back. And again, let's just shift to the other way. and come back. All right, now let's just kind of shake everything. Okay, and um, is Sarah and Allison, is there an opportunity to ask questions about? So this will be a time that I'd be happy to answer any questions about any of the chair yoga poses that I've done so far. Okay. People can feel free to drop your questions in the chat box. I think there should be a chat box. Yeah. Anyone have any questions? Or... Okay. Well, Sarah, how how is your how is your chair yoga been? It's been great. I didn't realize there were so many different stretches you could do from the seated position. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um. I guess this is a time that I open it up for requests. Is there, I'm, I always like to say I'm like a DJ. I, I like to take requests. So I don't know, Allison, do you have any requests? I don't have any requests. I'm watching the the chat and the Q and A and I don't, I don't see anything okay. come through yet, but that was wonderful. Good, good. Okay. Well, helpful. Oh, um, I'm sorry, Allison, what was that last part? Oh, uh, really helpful. Okay. Yes. Good. <clears throat> well, yeah. And again, just giving yourself <clears throat> permission, even if you don't have time to do the whole sequence in between meetings, you know, maybe even just giving yourself a few minutes of transition time to just give yourself those shoulder rolls or give yourself a hug, you know, stretching out your back you know, doing the goalpost arms. Um, you know, those are just a few quick, you know, tips and tricks that you can incorporate uh, throughout your day. So, um, you know, another meditation I'd love to be able to guide you through um, is called a powerful I am statements. And you know, as I mentioned in the opening meditation, we have over 80,000 thoughts every single day. And, you know, what we feed our mind is as important as what we feed our bodies. So again, what are those messages that you're telling yourself? And a great way um, to affirm yourself is through pow powerful I am statements. And, um, you know, I'll lead you through um, this exercise, but this is something, you know, you can do if you have, you um, you know, a spouse, a child, um, you know, a coworker, you can say um, powerful I am statements, you know, throughout your day. Um, because again, um, you know, I don't know if you've ever heard of, or if you keep a gratitude journal. So I'm a big believer in gratitude as an outward expression and appreciation as that inward reflection. And is there a question that's come up? I see a comment that says oh. all easy methods to help us relax, which we all need. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Okay, well, let's um, move through the powerful I am statement meditation. So again, closing down your eyes and focusing on your breath. Again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. 
and exhale. On each inhale, think I am, and on the exhale, the word. So inhale, I am, exhale, present. Inhale, I am, centered. I am calm. I am safe. I am healthy. I am nourished. I am happy. I am blessed. I am abundant. I am grateful. I am grace. I am mindful. I am aware. I am inspired. I am awakened. I am enlightened. I am enough. Again, I invite you to place one or both hands over your heart to connect that beautiful heart space, heart opening energy. And I invite you to say a few I am statements to yourself at this time. When you're ready, slowly wiggle your fingers and your toes and gently blink open your eyes. Okay. Um, I have one more meditation that I'd like to guide you through. Um, and, you know, I invite you, if you don't already have a meditation practice, um, to start when it can be you know, a few moments of, you know, just seated quiet time. Um, there are also a variety of meditation apps available. Uh, my favorite meditation app is one called Insight Timer. It's I-N-S-I-G-H-T and then T-I-M-E-R. And there are over 200,000 free meditations available on Insight Timer. So you can search on morning meditation, evening meditation, energizing meditation, um, forgiveness meditation. Um, you can search on time. You can search if you only have five minutes. You can do like one to five minutes. If you have, you can do six to 11 minutes. There's so many different ways to search for meditations on, you know, what will really support you each and every day. Um, and so insight, insight timer is my personal favorite. 
Um, I know there's also Calm, which is very popular. I have clients that use Calm. I have clients that use Headspace. Um, you know, other apps um, that have those meditations. You know, the best time to start a meditation practice is 20 years ago. The next best time is right now. So, you know, I encourage you to incorporate a meditation as part of your, your morning or your evening ritual. Um, and, you know, with the uh, spirituality piece of that too, um, you know, when I was first uh, taking yoga, I didn't really quite know what Shavasana was, which is the final resting pose. And yoga is like, great, you get to take a nap at the end of class. Um, but then I realized it was really, you know, um, learning how to calm your mind to really be present. And uh, one of my first yoga teachers taught me, you know, when you pray, you ask God for something. And when you meditate, you listen. So I just wanted to offer that up there um, to you. I mean, if you, um, if prayer or scripture reading is part of your, you know, morning ritual, you know, I encourage you to do that, but also make sure that you give yourself a few moments, you know, of that reflection time as well. So that's, that's really what meditation is, is really, you know, quieting the mind so you can listen to those messages. So, um, but any questions about meditation before we move into the final meditation, I just wanted to open it up for meditation questions. I have a question. Okay, great. Or, or maybe just a thought. Um, what do you see is the benefit to quieting the mind or actual meditation? Yes. Um, meditation has uh, many um, medical benefits. Again, as I mentioned, it helps to quiet the mind. It helps to calm your nervous system. It helps to reduce anxiety. It helps you sleep better. It's known to lower your blood pressure. Um, you know, it helps with digestion. You know, I don't know if you've ever heard of, you know, if you're always in that fight flight mode, if your body is constantly fighting and fighting, but through meditation, it helps you to learn how to rest and digest. So those are just a few of my um, uh, things that I've experienced, things that I've learned. Um, through the meditation courses that I've went through, I'm also taking um, a class on like the neuroscience of coaching and just learning more about our brain chemistry and our thoughts. And again, um, it's it's helping me put the science behind, you know, why, you know, meditation works. I'm learning more about like neuroplasticity and how our brains can just help, you know, generate new thoughts and new thoughts. And so again, it is, it's like through meditation, it's really, you're actually creating new neural pathways in your brain too. So those are just um, some of the, the top benefits of meditation. And again, there are proven results with even a five minute a day meditation. You know, so instead of if you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm just going to hit the snooze for another, you know, nine minutes, you know, like hit a meditation and just, you know, lay in bed, give yourself permission to wake up peacefully and mindfully to begin your day. Great question, Sarah. If anyone else has any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat box. I guess I'm curious, does anyone have a current meditation practice that they follow? I'd love to hear, you know, from anyone who um, has some benefits that they want to share. I don't, but I always think it's a really good idea and I need to start the practice. Um, but I do love the um, gratitude piece and mm. I find I'm happier um, when I do start my day giving gratitude. Mm -hmm. Yes. And again, always have some inward reflection for yourself. You know, gratitude, it's great to be able to give to others, but you also have to be open to receive that, that gratitude and that love for yourself too. That appreciation. Okay. Well, I'll, <clears throat> I'll go through the, the final guided meditation and then 
I'll allow a few more moments um, or minutes at the end if there are any additional questions that come up. So, okay. All right, again, gently close down your eyes and focus on your breath. And again, focusing on that inhale and exhale. As we are here on this 22nd day of this new year of the year 2024, we open our hearts to receive the joy and abundance of the year ahead. I invite you to take a moment to let go of any thought, belief, or feeling that is no longer serving you. When you release what is no longer serving your highest good, you make more space for what you really want to receive. A new year, a new time, a fresh start. Sorry about that. Um, we have this clean slate. We have been through each of these months and these seasons before, but each time you experience life differently, I want to acknowledge you for taking time to focus on you. I invite you to listen to your inner voice, your inner wisdom, and when you do, you are better prepared to receive and experience what you really want. You're better informed and aligned with who you are. You're more intentional on how you want to spend your time and your energy. Now let's take a moment to see what's ahead of you in this new year. As we are here in January, you feel the potential of the new year. You connect with the energy and optimism. Take a moment to think, what is this new path you're creating for yourself in 2024? As we move into February, place your hands over your heart and appreciate the energy of love. Feel the love from those in your life and take time to send yourself love. How will you love yourself more each year? As we spring into March, feel a wave of gratitude flowing through you. Appreciate yourself for all the good life has to offer. Know that your life keeps getting better and better. You are connected with the energy of spring. In April, you start to see the grass turn green, the buds starting to blossom, all around you is new life and renewal. What is growing in your life from the seeds that you have planted? In May, the days are getting longer and you connect with your confidence and strength. You're really hitting your stride in all areas of your life. You are open to receive new opportunities and you are safe. Feel the flow into June with effortless ease and presence. You get outside and enjoy the sunlight. You take time to walk barefoot in the grass. You feel grounded and connected to Mother Earth. In July, you're connected with this radiant energy of the sun. You take time to relax in the warmth of the sun. You are living in the now. August, you focus on all the love in your world. No one is in charge of your happiness except you. All is well in your world. In September, you take a moment to look back on all that you've manifested so far in the year. You're extremely grateful for your prosperity. You live for today 
and make it so beautiful that it is worth remembering. In October, you feel abundant. You are rejoicing in the harvest of your life. You take stock of your gifts and talents. You seize the day. You make your life extraordinary. In November, the leaves begin to show us how beautiful it is to release what's no longer serving us. What do you need to release in this season of fall? <clears throat> Again, when you release what's no longer serving you, you open up your heart to receive more gratitude and appreciation. You are thankful for the wisdom that this year has given you. As you move into December, you take time to marvel at this year of 2024. You know that you are truly blessed. You appreciate yourself for all that you've done. You connect with your abundant joy. You begin to prepare for an even more amazing year ahead. Know that as we move in to this 2024, you are ready, you are open to receive. And again, I invite you to place one or both hands over your heart to really connect <clears throat> with this amazing energy that you've given yourself tonight. Appreciate yourself for showing up, for being present, for making this investment of time for you, for your highest good. Again, continue to inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. And when you're ready, slowly start to blink, open your eyes and wiggle your fingers and your toes. So we do just have a few more minutes. Again, I open it up if there are any questions or comments. Um, you can always also uh, message me directly. You can uh, message me. I'm at Sarah, the letter U, and then the word coach. So Sarah U coach at gmail.com. You can message me there. You can follow me on Facebook at Sarah U coach.com. Um, and you can also connect with me on LinkedIn. So those are a few different ways um, that you can connect with me. So if you don't have any questions right now, but you know, maybe tomorrow you're like, oh, what was that stretch you did? Or what was that piece that you said in meditation? Um, again, please feel free and message me. You know, I'm here to support you and answer any questions that I can. Sarah, that was wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, you're so welcome, Allison. Well, it's always a treat to be able to spend time with you. Sarah Bolton, do you have anything else? I don't have anything else, and I don't, I'm not seeing any questions in the chat. But thank you so much, Sarah, for sure. tonight and sharing all the poses and the meditations. And lovely. You're welcome. Have a We're great here. evening. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. All right. Thanks, Allison. Bye.